Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And today I just really fancied making some Christmas baubles. So I am going to do the first stage. I've already prepared a couple of them. Um, and after I have done this stage, I will let all these dry and then we'll do the second part. So for this stage, I'm going to be putting glitter inside um, these baubles. So it's just a case, these are clear. I got them um, a set of six, um, eight centimeters, I think they are. So uh, for this stage, I have got some Liquitex Gloss Medium, um, simply because it is quite runny, it's not thick like glue, um, and because it's gloss I thought maybe it might still make it a little bit sparkly and shiny still. Um, and I've got this little pipette, so I have just been putting the pipette into the varnish and then just letting that suck up that. So this is the, the Liquitex Gloss Medium, it used to be called Medium and Varnish but they changed the name um, and I, as I had it I thought I would use it. So then I've just been dripping this very gently inside the Christmas baubles and letting it drip a little bit like the Christmas pudding, I guess, so that it will drip down the sides a little bit. Um, these glitters I normally use for my nails, um, but they're not very expensive. It's, it's $3.99 for these big bags, and there's just loads of glitter in there. So I use it for my nails, I use it in paintings, and of course, Christmas baubles. I thought they would be pretty perfect for that as well. Um, so this is just a case of just letting this drip down the side of the baubles. Because what the next stage will be after this, after they've all dried, is that I will do acrylic pour painting um, over the top of them. So for that reason, I wanted the concentration of glitter to be at the top end where it hangs, because when I do the acrylic pour painting, I'm going to do it this way up and pour the paint over the top, which again, I don't want it to go cover the bauble completely, a little bit like the drips from a Christmas pudding again, really. Um, and I'm going to mix up um, some beautiful metallic colours. I like my deco art paints, and my iridescent paints. Um, so I'm, I'm going to mix those up and just pour those over. And then when it's finished, what I'm hoping for is that when you hang it on the tree, you'll have the lovely glitter at the top, and then you'll have the pour painting um, at the bottom. So that is what I'm hoping for. So I have added that medium in there and it's had time to sink down to the bottom a little bit. And then it is simply a case of adding, <laughs> adding some of this glitter. This particular one is um, silver holographic. Uh, so I am just going to pour it in and uh, swish it a little bit, really. It's, uh, it's not very difficult. <laughs> and uh, it should be quite effective. And with having the glitter on the inside, it won't come off on everything as well. Uh, I've looked at um, people's videos on YouTube to see um, what they had done. Some people um, did the acrylic pour painting on the inside, some people did it on the outside. I think it just depends on the effect that you want. Um, I think if you do it on the inside 
it is perhaps a more blended together result. On the outside, you can either um, just pour the individual colours on and let them drip down and mix together, or you could put them in a cup um, and then pour the whole mixed cup over the top. But what I thought I would do is my favourite technique, which is mixing the paint up a little bit in a container first, not a cup, but a container, and then picking up the pieces of paint and laying them on. Um, I, just, I like the way all the colours all swirl together. I do that quite a lot in my paintings. I like to pick up the little bits and just place them onto the canvas and then the colours just mix together really nicely and they look really pretty and with the um, metallic deco art uh, extreme sheen ones as well I think that uh, they will be really nice so there that has got that with all the glitter so this is going to dry now and um, I'll leave it probably this way up, <laughs> so just the drawing, and then I'll check it and I can always turn it the other way. So that is the first stage and uh, we'll let these dry a little bit and we'll get on to the next stage which will be the pour painting. So the glitter has had a chance to dry um, so I'm now going to move on to the next stage. I'm going to put paint in this tray. Um, I've picked out some colours that always look quite nice together. This is just some leftover paint which I thought would be quite good just for a base colour. So I would I'd just put that in first. And all these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. So the idea is that I am just really going to layer the paints in here in a pattern. Um, no particular plan. This one is pink tourmaline. This one is iridescent blue green, so Pabio. This one is Deco Art Blue Topaz, which is one of my favourite colours. I use it ever such a lot. I thought I'd see if I can get anything out of this. This one is uh, Deco Art Sapphire. I already know that I haven't got very much left in here, but I thought I'd see if I can get anything out of it, Ooh, a little bit. And I've got some white. So you can see there isn't any particular um, plan to this. This is some copper, because I thought that would be a little bit Christmassy. And the last one is the Deco Art 24 karat gold. Uh, and I thought I'd have that kind of on the top because I was happy to see that a little bit more. So my plan now, these little paints out the way is I think I will probably just break the pattern up a little bit kind of like a stick just to swirl the colours together because I always love the way the colours all mix and swirl together it always looks lovely So 
yes, that pattern looks lovely on its own. So here are these Christmas ball balls. So my plan now was just to pick these up with this tool and just really let them make their way down from the top. Um, as you can see, I've got one gold bauble with the glitter inside, one blue bauble, and then I thought I actually would just leave one clear, just because I thought I'd like to see what happens. So yeah, so that is my plan. <laughs> um, just really to let these beautiful colours just make their way down on their own. And I thought it doesn't matter if they don't cover the entire bauble. I thought, you know, for the edges, if you can see those a little bit, I thought that would be fine. But I thought these colours would be really nice together. And I thought that this technique of just scooping up the beautiful colours as they are and just letting them drizzle down the side, I thought that might be quite effective. And then I also thought if it didn't work, I could always just like get the bottles and squeeze the individual colours over. But I think this is going to work really nicely, actually. It certainly is looking really nice. Uh, I think that I need to be careful not to spoil anything that's existing by pouring over the top of it. Uh, I might just turn these around and then I can see this side as well. But yeah, they do look really nice actually. But you can see how lovely the colour looks when you just pick it up and just let it drizzle down. And this tray of colours is just so nice. And I thought that if I was to try to do that by just pouring them on, I didn't think it would be as, a, as effective as just picking them up, really. But the colours are beautiful. I think this one perhaps could do with something that's a bit prettier on it. These colours are looking not quite as pretty, so I think, I think I need to go out of my way to just pick something up a bit prettier. Um, whereas that one is looking quite pretty. Might just add a little bit of gold and that nice turquoisey blue. Let that drizzle down. This one's looking really nice, and that one looks nice now. Now that I've added some more colour. I don't know how to go down that side, I think. I will spin them around again. Because uh, then I'll be able to see from all directions. This looks nice. I think it could do with a little bit more colour. It's got a big concentration of blue. So I think I'll just add something a bit more there. This is looking lovely. So you can see the idea, you know, just pick up these beautiful colours and then just drop them on and let them just stretch over it.
so I've put these balls on lollipop sticks um, that are fastened into polystyrene. Um, I saw a video with Mixed Media Girl and that gave me the idea to do that. I saw how she had done it and I thought that that looked like a really good idea by putting the baubles onto the lolly sticks because it just means that the paint can drip off and that you don't have to touch them then. I will just leave these to dry overnight now on this table um, and uh, then tomorrow I will let you see how it's all looking. At the moment I am very optimistic that they are going to look lovely because those colours are just blending together really nicely and the patterns as well. They remind me a little bit of when you're a child and you get those little plastic footballs from the supermarket. <laughs> beach balls, I guess, that's what it is, like beach balls. So I think that that might be about it. I think by the time that all drips down, I'm very happy if it doesn't cover the entire bauble. I mean, that was the whole point of putting the glitter on the gold and the blue one. So I will bring you down and uh, you can have a good look at these because I think they're looking really nice. I'll just bring my camera off of here. So that gold is still there because of course they'll be hanging the opposite way round. So a lot of this underneath you won't see so much. You can see those nice shimmery colours. And then this one has the blue glitter underneath. I don't know if I might need to put a bit more on that side. It looks a bit concentrated with blue. And then this one is clear all the way through. So I'll see what that's like. I can always add some glitter to it afterwards if I want to do that. And then all those lovely colours coming down and the shimmer from the 24 karat gold and these will all have a coat of varnish on them as well to make them really shimmery. I love this blue here, I do like that. So I will let you see that tomorrow or however long it takes for them to dry and uh, We'll see what they look like. So bye for now. So here are these Christmas baubles. Uh, I forgot to show you when they were drying. Um, they are all finished now. I have put two spray coats of gloss varnish on. So this is obviously the one with the gold glitter inside. And you can see all those lovely colours and how shimmery and shiny they are. And then this one is the clear one. And again, just a nice variety of colours there. A nice dark blue, a bit of the white that's mixed together with the blue, some copper. Uh, you can see the 24 karat gold shimmering there. Oh, and that nice turquoise, beautiful turquoise. And then this one is the light blue glitter one. Um, quite a nice variation of colours there. That nice uh, copper. Just lovely. And you can see how the paint has dripped over leaving some of that um, glitter to show which is why I want it 
so they're nice and shimmery and shiny and uh, I think they've come out quite well. I did also add some different ribbons. Um, I've cut out on ladies tops um, the shoulder straps. The ribbons I always find annoying and I often just cut them out <laughs> and put them to one side um, and I found that some of those were quite useful. So there they are, three lovely blue little Christmas baubles with glitter on the inside, all sprayed with varnish. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.